All right, so it's time to dive in. Find out if I'm right, because I have a feeling that Queen Allison is about to be up to no good. And it's, it's hard to say if she's like going to do it in bad faith or if she actually thinks that he was asking something from her. But so much has happened in this show so far. Anybody could get it. Anything can go down. Like it's, it's been a wild first season. So let's get into it. Let's find out. I will say, I do wish we had some kind of like crazy underlying story. Similar to how in Game of Thrones, you had the White Walkers that amongst all the, all the stuff that was going on, all the fighting for the throne, this, that, and the third, there was this one underlying thing that was just creeping towards them the entire show and then boom it hits at the end like i kind of would like something like that in this but obviously it's not going to be anything like the white walkers because that's something that they're passing down from generations that happened in the past they built the wall and now they're kind of you know waiting for it to build up and game of thrones is when it actually happens who is this little kid oh Wait, hold up. That was a different queen. So is this little kid supposed to be potentially Valeris or Damon? Oh, no, it says Queen Allison. But they don't look like her, though. Oh, okay. The, the, the captions are just off from what's actually happening. Because this is her saying you sure in her bed, most likely. With his own eyes, your grace. Okay, so that wasn't a flashback. For some reason, I thought it was. Who is the little kid? Stay here. Tell, tell no one. Help me dress. Oh, it's jo jo Joffrey, maybe? Who knows? My handmaiden Talia. So they're either going to try to keep this a secret so they can remain in power until they can figure out a way to try to spin this in a certain way, or they're going to come up with some lies right now. I saw him last night before he... He told me he wished for Egon to be king. This dirty bitch. Oh, this dirty bitch. This is about to be a really upsetting episode, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pretty upset. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. His last words to me and I was the only one to hear it. And now he's dead. But her father's probably gonna pretend that he was there and heard it too. And as the hand of the king, you gotta listen to what he says. What is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead, but he has left us a gift. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Egon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Then we may proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long laid plans. See, because they all don't want Rhaenyra to be in power. All of them were, were completely against it. So it's, it's not hard to believe that they're all just gonna go and be like, listen, his last words, you know, we, we've confirmed it. It is what it is. Let ravens be sent to our allies, Riverrun and Highgarden. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? I will not have this. To hear that you have plotted to replace the king's chosen heir with an imposter. His firstborn son is hardly an imposter. I am six and seventy years old. I have known Viserys longer than any who sit at this table. This is seizure. This is theft. It is treason, at the least. Mind it is your tongue, Lyman. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? This man is going to end up getting himself killed. But shout out to him. Much respect for him stepping up. Because he's like, I've known him long enough to know that this is not what he would have done. This is not how this would have gone. Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? Whether it was one of you or all of you. I cannot. Like, think about it. Think about it. They just had a dinner the night before, all right? Lady Allison got up and said that Renair would be a good queen. The king did not argue this, not one bit. He just said he wanted everybody to get along. If he had something so important to say, you don't think he would have said it right then with all the family? Let's be realistic here. I will have no Sit part. Down! <laughs> Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Creston. What is happening? I, Lord Commander Sir Kristen. I will not suffer insults to her grace the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. You put aside your blade. Let us have Lord Peasbury removed. No. 
The door remains shut until we finish our business. They just stole the throne from Renera. This is crazy. The former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. You plan to kill them, and all here accede to this. Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. But a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's succession. And then there is Daemon to consider. But the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet... One more word and I will have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. The hand is a... Ooh, he's a scumbag. I hope we see I'm him die. Of the king's guard. I recognize no authority but the king's. And until there is one, I have no place here. Where is Ergon? Not here. He's not in his rooms. It's at the whorehouse. Perfect fitting king. Yeah, let's put him in charge. Your father, there is a beast beneath the Love. Didn't she say that before there is a beast beneath the boards? It just seems so random that she just said it now. Did she have mental health issues? Where's the prince? Forgive me, Lord Hand. I do not know. But you're sworn to protect him. He exploits his authority to order me away, and then he evades me, my lord. Take no one else but your brother. And remove your white cloaks. None can know who you are or what you seek. Including the queen. Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. Someone needs to kill this man. I'm going to be real with you. If we don't get his death by the end of this season, I'm going to be upset. And if we don't see it in season two, I'm going to be really upset. What is the meaning of this? See, they're basically trying to stop anybody that's going to go against what they want to happen. They're going to lock him in the rooms. They're talking about killing people. Like, this is, this is... This is not what the king wanted. As much as I threw some shade at Viserys throughout some of this show, it's crazy that they're going to disrespect his, his wishes and everything like this. God. God. Hey, are they putting everybody who knows about it in prison? Prince Agon's not to be found within the castle walls, Your Grace. Your father has sent Sir Eric into the city to find him. Sir Eric knows, Egon, he has the advantage. I trust again to you, Sir Kristen, and to your loyalty. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Eamond, if anything has happened. Cole needs me, Mother. Sir Eric isn't the only one who knows Egon's doings. Okay, so this is interesting. We have two separate things happening. Her father wants the queen completely out of the picture and wants Aegon brought to him. And the queen wants the same thing. And I'm curious why. Like, we all know what the Hand wants. The Hand was here. He, he's ready to kill Rhaenyra. He, he's ready to body everybody to make this happen and keep himself in power. And the queen, I mean, is the one that sparked it. But at the same time, she's against the murdering of Rhaenyra and her family. But I don't feel like she wants... Renera to be queen either. She still wants her son to be. So I'm just, it's, it's just very interesting to me that they both want, oh, maybe it's because if he has a claim at being king, the hand could try to convince him to order the deaths of Renera and her family because they're going to oppose him. Whereas Queen Alicent might be like, listen, that's not what we're going to do. Like you are going to get your rightful throne because supposedly the, the, the king said it, which he didn't, but, but you, we're not going to kill Renera and her family. So that, that's got to be what the difference is. This is getting interesting. It's, it's been interesting. Aegon brought me to the Street of Silk on my 13th name day. It was his duty as my brother, he said, to ensure I was as educated as he was. He said time to get it wet. Every woman is an image of the mother <laughs> to be spoken of with reverence. You see, the man we seek is the young Prince Aegon. I may trust, I hope, in the discretion of your trade. 
The prince is not here. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. The service amended his wishes. It's as simple as that. You once swore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must now pledge them to the future king. I must confer first with my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. So they're trying to scare people into doing it. It's like, it, 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 it's like, keeps its sworn oath to the princess. It's like, listen, the king was in front of you. He said a certain thing. You swore your loyalty. Someone who is not the king is now in front of you in claiming after the king passed that all of a sudden he changed it. But he just didn't get in front of anybody and say it. He didn't say it the other day when he was in front of a whole crowd. He didn't say it to any, just only you happen to know about this. I, I mean, I feel like a lot of them are kneeling down because they probably didn't want to kneel to Renera, So they're just willing to give it up and say, you know what? We agree. This is the way that it should be. But like, you don't just blindly believe some guy just because he says this. It just, it's just reeks of just bullshit. See, they're just scaring people into doing it. This is not, this is, I mean, I guess this is how it used to work, but. Long live the king. Long live the king. Suck my dick. Down. Come here. Come here. Get in there. What the hell is this? They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Makes them more formidable. Do you see now what he is? You've not seen everything. Gone. One of many I'd wager. Wait, are they saying that he sleeps with the kids as well? But this is not who you want to be king. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? It is I, the younger brother, who studies history and philosophy. It is I who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. It is I who should be... I know what it is to toil for what others have freely given. Mm -hmm. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. See, this guy was smart. He swore his oath, but he ain't mean it. Something must be done. Aegon is unfit to rule. It's for the hands of high wisdom. We swore an oath of service until death. I can take you to Prince Aegon. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. To trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the White Worm can tell him. <laughs> He was fleeing from the gate. The Lord Confessor presumes. I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Let the king's justice take him. So not only do you have to swear loyalty, but you can't leave? Like, you just gotta you stay there. Well, Laris. Laris is another scumbag. Yeah, I, do take my Lord Hand. I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. The okay. king. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Believe it or no, it is of no consequence. I came here to ask your support, your daughter dead, alone in Pentos, your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. You, more than any soul alive, understand what I say now. Princess Rhaenys, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. She's trying to win her over to now. Hear those words from you. We do not rule. But we may guide the men that do, away from violence and sure destruction and instead toward peace. <laughs> it's in the name of peace that you've imprisoned me. If it's drift, Mark, you want, you shall have it. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You desire not to be free, but to make a window in the wall of your prison. I'll leave you with your thoughts. Ring the bell when you have an answer. <laughs> I'll leave you with your thoughts. Basically, we're going to lock you up in here. Ring the bell when you have an answer. And if it's the wrong one, who knows what comes next? This whole situation, I'm going to be honest with you, it's crazy because it's like it's a TV show, right? But I'm actually getting pissed off about some of this. Like some of this is, is, is actually getting to me a little bit. You yourself are the mysterious white worm, I take it. Or are you simply a further peel in this stinking onion? The white worm is the the... Is it Missandra or whatever the girl's name is that was with Damon? My condolences on the passing of your king. 
Or am I mistaking her for somebody else? I thought the prince is in Flibottom when no one is to be trusted. I'd best secret him somewhere safe in case they come looking for him. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. I look into it. You have my word. When your plots ripen and you install your grandson on the throne. Remember, it was me who put him there. I could have killed him as easily as a wasp on fruit. I will remember. That's in a bad way though. They're gonna they're gonna try to kill her. Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? Your grandfather, the hand, will meet you outside the city walls. I feel like the other people looking for him, his brother Amond and Sir Kristen, are going to come in. They've got to, right? I just don't want him to meet with the hand. Like, I feel like him and his daughter are both kind of evil. But I feel like she's the lesser of the evils. I do regret this, friend. I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Is his brother going to kill him? This might be the one time I'm on the serial killer side. Let me go! I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty. I'm not suited. You get no argument from me. You let me go, I will find a ship and sail away, never to be found. The queen awaits. I feel like Amond was okay with that. But Sir Kristen seemed like he got a little thing for the queen, so. Well played. None of this is a game. And yet you treat it as one. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Rather, I'd been a piece that you moved about the board. If that is true, then I made you queen of the seven kingdoms. I wanted whatever you impressed upon me to want. And now the debt comes due. I have her gone. We'll proceed now as I see fit. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms, such that she may accept without shame. If she lives, her allies will mass behind her banners, looking for her return. Then she must not return. Kristen Cole will be named Lord Commander of the King's Guard. My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. It's crazy because like I don't like either of them because they're pushing this Aegon as king thing and I just disagree with it completely. But I, I, I guess I don't have a choice, right? So I've got to pick a side and clearly I'm going to be on her side. I just have to hope that somewhere down the line, justice actually gets served and Rhaenyra gets what is rightfully hers. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. Look at him trying to play against her. This guy is sneaky. It's just too bad that your son is also a... Child diddler. As you wish. I don't trust him. I feel like he is willing to take it as far as doing something to his own daughter to get things the way that he wants them to be. Everything to him is just a chessboard, just like she said. Everybody is pawns. The hour is late, Lord Laris. I have found out something you should know. If you asked yourself, I wonder how it is. <laughs> That your father, the Hand, found Egon first. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Along its threads travels news of all our doings. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. And this weaver watches me. I feel like the weaver is him. I just don't trust this man. And I feel like she's trying to show him some feet to... to You know what I'm saying? It's just odd right now that she decides, like, let me throw my feet up here real fast. Let me take off these stockings because he seems like he's a little bit interested. She got the toes out. One of the little spiders is your lady in waiting. Talia. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. There is one way to destroy his advantage. It must be taken out at the head. I assume this task falls within your expertise. If you wish it. Is he offering to kill her father? He's got a foot fetish. Why is he showing her toes so much? <laughs> <laughs> I 
this man's like, yo, I may never get another chance to see these feet out like this. I gotta, I gotta touch myself a little bit. Yo, that's actually wild. That's actually wild. I mean, she got some nice feet. I'm not a foot fetish person, so it don't do it for me like that. But I can appreciate that there's some, you know, women that have nicer feet and some people got some gangly little, you know, things going on down there. But I, I didn't expect him to start touching himself over it. I thought he was just going to do a little rub. This man is straight up jerking off. Wait, did she know that he was? Is this like a kind of thing that they have where she, she like shows the feet and he does his little thing and so she turns the other way to, to just not see it? That's what it felt like for a second there. He's either offering to kill her father or kill Talia. But Talia's her daughter, right? I'm pretty sure. Because they married the son and daughter together. With me, princess. I can not let this treachery stand. Nah, this is a no, 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 no. This is this is I feel like this is a complete lie. I feel like they're purposely leading her somewhere. They knew that she wouldn't just come along. So he's acting like he's on her side. Like, I can't let this stand. Let me get you out of here. But in reality, they're going to lead her somewhere to get killed. Are they trying to say that she might be the head of it? There's no way he's risking it. Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. The Blackwater's this way. Are they really going to kill her? What? building is that? Who is this guy? I don't know. I'm lost. There's so much oh, happening. Please, They'll expect you there, princess. You won't get past the gates. You must make for the riverfront and find a ship before they know you've gone. What are they doing? Are they trying to push everybody into one area? Maybe they're trying to gather everybody together to announce the new king? Have the decency to look grateful. Do you know what's been done to give you this day? In an hour you will be king. And my father never wanted this. That's not true. He changed his mind. Wow. <laughs> he could have, but he never did. And yet, with his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. It's not what he said. Listen to me, Egon. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. So she's trying to impress on him that she doesn't want him to kill Renera doesn't want him to be callous and, and an evil king. And I have this feeling that if he gets in front in the crowd and he becomes king, that is the first thing he's going to do. Is he's just going to start slaughtering people. I just don't think that he's going to be good. I think it's pretty clear. We all, we all know that at this point, right? Is this not the same place where in Game of Thrones all those people died? Almost positive, right? People of King's Landing, today is the saddest of days. Our beloved king is dead, but it is also the most joyous of days. He whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. Yep, so we decided to go from Viserys the Peaceful to Aegon, the child diddler. Sounds like a great switch, right? You guys should be super joyed by this. This is an amazing turn of events. It's a dark day for the city. A dark, it dark is your day. Great good fortune and privilege to be here to witness this. The Seven Kingdoms is about to see a hell that it's never witnessed in a long time. This kid is pure evil. May the warrior give him courage. May the father defend him in his need. May the crone lift a shining lamp and light his way to wisdom. Let the seven bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. All hail his grace. Aegon, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. I feel like he was questioning it until he starts to get the cheers. It's like that feel of power it starts to consume you right away. You guys just change shit in a way that I don't think anybody even realizes. Oh, shit! Yo, I was gonna say, I feel like something crazy has to happen, right? But I, I, I don't know, like, in my mind, I was like, watch all of a sudden, like, dragon fire just go through the crowd. But 
I didn't say anything. I wish I did because now in hindsight, it makes it seem like I'm just saying, yo, I, I knew this was going to happen. I, I didn't know for sure. That's why I, I questioned myself and I didn't even say it because I just thought that it was just my wishful thinking that some crazy shit would go down. But that now I wonder like what, who is this? Because we did see Corliss's wife, I forget her name now, run off to the side. And she did say how she wanted to get her dragon. So I'm curious if she got her dragon and this is her, but this would be a huge step that she took towards things getting a little bit crazy. If she came in and just bodied people like this. Plus, it, it, so this is a hit or miss situation right here, right? You may not agree with him being king. But by doing this, you almost ensure that the people that are there are going to be on his side because they're going to see the person who just did this as, well, they could have killed me. They killed people that I know. They killed innocent people. So they're the evil ones. King Aegon is the one that we should be standing behind, right? Like, that's the way that I would assume that you're going to see it. But this could be the start of that separation of the seven kingdoms. And, and it's, it's wild because this is exactly what Viserys didn't want. This is exactly what he said. The song of ice and fire did not want to happen. It can't happen. Woo! Why do I feel like it's Damon? Because it looks like it's a red dragon. We need to breathe fire at everybody on that stand. The hand, the new can't, all of them. Take them out. Okay, it is her. It is her. And they're saying to open the doors, but these guys are closing them. So there must be a group of people that are already against this whole situation. Good. Defend your son and die right alongside him, lion. Mm. You better take this moment to make some shit happen. <laughs> That should have been fire. That should have been fire you breathed right there. Don't even give them a chance. Why wouldn't you kill him? You could have just did what we all needed you to do. I guess that, like, that's her way of saying, like, I am not on your side. Like, we are at odds. And this was my statement. But I feel like right then and there, you should have breathed fire, bodied that bitch, bodied her crazy little diddling son, bodied the hand. All of them deserve to go. It's about to be a crazy last episode. See, this is what I'm talking about. I knew they was going to leave us off with some madness. So I'm very happy that in a couple of weeks, the new season starts. So we're going to have to dive in. I really don't want to pay HBO Max $16, $17. It's tight, man. You don't got no money like that. You're paying these guys all this crazy amounts of money just to watch this one show once a week. But I guess it is what it is because I'm not missing this. I am not missing this. This was crazy. Uh, shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best. Appreciate you guys on YouTube. Obviously, uncut, unedited versions of all of this is up on the Patreon. Being that it's such a long episode, and I, I just want to make sure that I don't put too much on YouTube. There's there's a lot of stuff, little reactions, things like that that I have that are only going to be on the Patreon version. I can't keep in every single thing that I say and do. And obviously, there's certain parts when, like, the kids were fighting in this episode, you know, things like that that I can't be putting on YouTube because it would go against um, some of the TOS. So... Just letting you guys know it's there. Link is down below. It's patreon.com slash Dwayne does anime. As far as what we just saw. Madness. But it, 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 that was a bold move on her part because obviously they're going to be against her. Now, I don't know if those people that were closing the door were on her side because she ended up going out the door. So she clearly wanted it open as well. But at first they were closing it. So I, I don't I don't know. I don't know who's on what side, but I know that she is going to definitely have the backing of Rhaenyra and Damon. So this is we, we starting to pick sides here and we're going to see how this all plays out probably not by the end of the season but only one way to find out i appreciate you guys i will catch you in the next episode homies hey they said that i couldn't do what i'm doing like what were you thinking, what were you thinking? they tried to tell me that i wasn't made for this shit i'm like what were you thinking I don't know what he was thinking acting like i still got something to prove like what were you thinking, what were you thinking? i've been improving well you ain't been moving my nigga like what were you thinking, what were you thinking?